basically uh, gathered a lot of information to actually set a basis for our designing and to actually target the issues that we are uh, addressing. So first of all, we actually looked into our industry, which is the car industry, and we thought using the Ishikawa diagram and the methods which we have been taught, we, we tried to find the issues that the current industry is having. First of all, I can say that the fuel efficiency in the cars are not as much as it should be, and if there is still a room of improvement, which by considering different factors, it can be done. And if you actually go into detail in the cars, you can see that all cars, this is a picture of eight different cars, and they all look the same. They all have the same profiles, they are uh, looking this in the same way, and what we are trying to do is that we want to be unique as well. We want to have a new sort of a car. And I can say that the most important issue that we are trying to address is the environmental issues. Since we are doing an electric car, we want to uh, actually, because there is a lot of air pollution because of the cars, so we want to actually address that issue as well. So this is a really sad picture. This is a picture of a baby. It's in China. And it, his teeth is actually removed because of lead poisoning, which is the cause of air pollution. So we are hoping that by doing this project, we'll be able to remove these kind of things from the world, since it's like, there is like 2.2 million people dying every year in China because of air pollution. And huge factor of it is only because of the car industry. Following, I'm gonna go to actually what, how, our, how, for how our project is addressing these issues and how are we gonna solve these issues. We want to have less fuel consumption, which is actually more on the car itself. But then the most area that we are focusing on is the low drag. So we are trying to achieve the lowest drag possible in the car that we can. And in order to achieve that, we want to have a fast manufacturing techniques. We want to use the cheapest material that possible to make the car. And the most important thing is that we want to encourage people to buy electric cars. If we can make electric cars to look good, to go fast, and to be cheap, we are actually encouraging people to buy it, and then we're gonna have more electric cars out, out there. So to actually achieve all these, we have to have we have to set three different design criteria, which I'm gonna pass it to Siva to talk about that. Okay, for the design three design criteria, we are focusing on three major parts, which is the low drag force and the low cost cost low cost and easy manufacturing process. Okay, these three are the important, most important thing in uh, our design criteria. So as you can see, to get the lowest drag force as possible, we need to focus on two different parts, which is the drag coefficient and the frontal area. So in order to, uh, for the drag coefficient, we are focusing on aerofoil design. Okay, aerofoil design, we get the design from a knockout profile. Knockout profile is basically a profile where the airplanes, they use the knockout profile to design their plane. We are implementing that design into our aerofoil design to get our design to, to uh, manufacture it. For the frontal area, uh, we all know that the area is directly proportional to the drag force. And in order to get a small, the smaller the frontal area it is, the lower the drag force there is. And as you can see, the picture is shown here. As you can see, the aerofoil design it's lower the uh, frontal area and the smoother the laminar flow it is. So therefore, it has low drag coefficient. And for the next part is the uh, material selection, which I'm going to pass to William. Hi. Um. So. Uh, as you can see, we, our group chose fiberglass as our body. Um, this is after uh, a certain re amount of research, like comparing steel and aluminium, we finally chose fiberglass because it, is, it has the lightest weight and it is within, within our budget. So, um, fiberglass um, is almost twice less dense than aluminium, and also fiberglass is used a lot in normal cars, it's almost 50% in a normal car nowadays. And with, and this graph shows that um, a higher, a bigger, larger weight vehicle will have a, la a lesser fuel economy and larger fuel consumption 
compared to the smaller cars. Research shows that if we are able to decrease our weight by our car vehicle weight by nine by ten percent, we'll actually achieve seven percent more fuel economy. Which means every time you go and pump your car with a lesser weight vehicle, you will save seven dollars. So next is to manufacture fiberglass. Um, manufacturing fiberglass is um, as we are doing with low volume but low, low amount of volume of vehicle so we do not need um, we do not need high technology or very complicated machines and also we do not need a lot of labor and uh, not and we can save a lot of um, we can just uh, we do not need a lot of labor experience like ele like when machining aluminium and also um, we Manufacturing fiberglass saves time com compared to aluminium and also steel fabric uh, manufacturing. So next, I will go to the process of manufacturing fiberglass. First, we will have to build a mold using either plywood or just simple um, polystyrene. And then we will have to apply a wax paper so that after on, the resin will not stuck onto the mold. And then, we will have to lay the fiberglass cloth onto the mold so that um, later on we can put the resin and then we place the we apply the resin to fix the to create the shape that we desire. So after it is hardened, then we remove the mold from from the fiberglass model. Then this this model can be repeated over and over again so that you can get a you get more and more layers of fiberglass to if you, if you want to have um, a higher, um, a higher thickness and higher rigid uh, body work. So, next, this is these are the fiber gas benefits. So currently for our group, it is highly in demand because, um, as we know, the Taylor's Racing Team and also the Human Powered Vehicle Team are also trying to build the fiber gas more body work themselves. And then it fiber gas is available locally such as Ace Hardware just in some way you can get it um, we can get the fiberglass kit from Ace Hardware and then for future um, we believe that um, from this graph shows that from 2000, year 2001 to 2009 um, material related jobs have been increasing from 55% to 70% so we believe that if we acquire this um, this ability to manufacture the fiberglass we will have much more job opportunity in the future. And next, I'll hand in to Sanjay. Okay, I'll be talking about the idea process, uh, which is based on the uh, process where we gather information and then we come up with ideas based on what we've gathered. So the first idea is a simple idea. It conforms to the sh chassis shape, as you can see and it requires less material to build compared to the other ideas which I, uh, we have produced. And, but however, it's not as aerodynamic as we want it to be because of the frontal area being too large and because of the rear end being too um, smooth in shape. So that will cause the, the flow of air to circulate in that area, in this area causing more drag. So I'll go to the second idea. This is a very aerodynamic shape, but um, it is too large for our purposes because uh, lengthwise is like three meters and our chassis shape is only 1.2 meters. So that means that uh, we require more material to build it and all. And that would mean that more weight is added on to the chassis uh, to the body so that so eventually we will reduce cost only aerodynamically but weight wise we won't lose uh, we won't reduce as much cost as possible and the final design uh, is this design it's based on a Naka profile for the for the bottom piece uh, so that um, it will cut through air cleanly and the top piece is like sort of like a cockpit um, shape so that um, the air will pass through nicely around it 
Um, this, we've gathered information and done Flow Express on each of these um, designs, and we've seen that uh, analytically that it, it, this is the most superior design compared to the other two. Um, we also gathered information that the coefficient, the drag coefficient for this is comes to 0 0.22, so which is very good in terms of um, drag coefficients compared to nowadays cars nowadays. So we're sticking with this final design. Um, basically, as you can see, we've shown like the wheels, the wheel arrangement, the steering system arrangement. We intend to further improve on this by adding little fins here so that um, we reduce the amount of uh, drag on these areas as well so that we increase the cost saving uh, application. And then I'll pass it to Kamaru. Thank you, Sanjay. Uh, so what Sanjay was talking about is uh, more, more theoretical. So what we are going to do now is the prototyping process. So in the prototyping process, we test the theory uh, using a uh, software. So the software that we chose was uh, Flow Express from SolidWorks, so that uh, we can know about how, how uh, so that we can analyze the airflow uh, that hits the car when uh, when uh, when it hits the car. So. For the for the first idea that we propose, you can see that uh, the at first uh, the the airflow uh, 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 hits the car smoothly, but at the end at the end of the car, you can see that the, the the green bubble shows that there's a lot of air pockets, which actually causes turbulence and increase uh, air air drag. Okay. Uh, and the next one, uh, the next idea. It's uh, from the Naka profile. It's actually it, it actually has a, a better uh, airflow uh, airflow cutting tree. Uh, you can see that the green bubbles actually uh, lesser than the first uh, idea. But unfortunately, like Sanjay said, the body is too long, so we couldn't uh, we couldn't put it at, at our chassis. Uh, and lastly. Uh, by combining both ideas, we actually we actually get a car that can be assembled to the chassis, but also with a good aerodynamic uh, uh, ability. As you can see from here, the the green the green pocket is only uh, concentrated around here. It means the air turbulence is actually minimized to to to. To, to, to that small extent. Uh, okay. Next, uh, okay. Uh, for for our future uh, testing plans, we intend to use a software called uh, CFD, which actually uh, and will analyze the car much more discreet, so that we can have a, a better data to to uh, to. to to uh, support the design of the car. After uh, after analyzing through CFD, we will then uh, scale down the car into a smaller scale, smaller scale prototype, and we shall use the 3D printer to print it. Next, uh, the 3D printed car will then be uh, will then undergo an experimental. Uh, 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 Experiment, of, uh, a real experimental uh, process, uh, which is called the uh, wind tunnel. So from there we can analyze the car uh, according to the real life situation. And after that, after everything is done, we will then uh, manufacture the body of the car, which, which we will then attach to the chassis uh, that we currently have right now. And then after that. Uh, we will test it uh, the car uh, on a real real scale, so that we can know the the advantages and the disadvantages of the car. Uh, next, I will pass to uh, Navi to explain more about the business values. Okay, 
uh, now we want to speak the truth. We were saying we and I, now we want to say you. So, actually, we want to talk about money now. How I want to say, like, how is this project beneficial? How, it, can, how can it make money, which is the whole, like I said, the whole purpose of doing projects nowadays? It's actually, we, we believe that we have a high performance based on what we have done last semester and based on what we are doing this semester on the body of the car. We believe that uh, we have a unique design, which I will explain why we believe that we have a unique design later on. And then, electric cars are a new market. And there are still a lot of things that can be done. And there are still the cars, they don't look good at all. They are very like, boxy shapes. So we want to have a sport electric car so that people will like it. So, I, and I believe that the most important thing is that initial sponsors of this project, which I can believe is going to be one of them, is going to be Dr. Edwin, they're going to earn the most money out of the project since they're just starting the project and the project is only young. And furthermore, when it goes on and on, when it gets better and better, we're going to have a higher price by ourselves. So, um, how much actually? This fuel can it save the uh, design that we currently have? So we, uh, as, we as, well, as what we said that we are uh, predicting the drag coefficient to be 0 0.22. How can, how are we predicting that the model is that? And uh, there is the final rate project that has been done in here from Mark Darwin, like uh, in last year, which he was actually uh, doing simulations and experimental designs on the current chassis and the body that we have in 2D. So, but the value that we have got from this thesis is to be 0 0.23. And then we believe, and there are actually factors we found, which we found out that can be improved, further improved on, like the uh, angle of attack of the car, and which we are gonna actually implement that idea into our design. So actually even further lower than drag to even less than 0 0.2. But let's say the drag is 0 0.22. And in compared with the current cars, which they have 0 0.32 to 0 0.4, that coefficient, we are actually saving for 25%, and that means that that thing can increase the fuel economy by 12%, which is all based on the graphs. So uh, we were talking about money, and I keep, I was keep saying we have a unique design. We know that our design is good, so we want to prove that people like our design. That's why we have done a survey form, which I'm gonna pass it to you. Yeah, you can pass it to me. So we have done a survey based on our design uh, to see whether people, do they like this kind of design? Do they like to drive a three-wheeler three electric car on the roads or no? Are you going to show me the uh, We have a printed one, so okay. I'm going to pass it to you later. And we have a file for it I can send it to you later on. And these are the future plans. How are we, do we actually want to commercialize the ideas we have? How are we, do we want to actually commercialize the, what we have done so far? Is that, um, as a new, as a future plan, we want to construct four-wheeler cars based on whatever simulations and whatever things we have done so far, so that uh, we can get families to ride electric cars as well. And then uh, we're going to further go to production of 10 units of car per year, of an interest of people if they order from us. And then I can say one of the interesting things that, one of the interesting ideas that we have is that we want to have a place which we can change gasoline cars to electric cars. So people can actually bring their cars to change it from gasoline to electric. Thank you very much, sir. That's it. So? Yes. Uh, why did you pick the framework to talk about? Uh, because actually we were planning to show that how we came to this idea, how, our, how what we actually trying to solve. But you know that this is meant to be a pitch to a venture capitalist, right? Uh, that's, it's like, I can say that the first three steps is to prove the business values. Okay. That, that's the idea, yeah, that's why it's like in this process, we gotta prove that, that's why at the end I said. See, the other team, the other team, uh, the six, uh, six other teams before you spent no time talking about this. In actual fact, there was too little time spent on proving it. Okay. You guys spent too much time on proving it. Okay. Yeah, there's a balance required because if I'm if I'm the one with the money and you're looking for a, a sponsorship or a, a money for investment or things like that, right? You just have to have just enough. I think in your case, you have overdone it. The other guys just jump straight into it and uh, they didn't prove it. They didn't prove it. So you know what? Because cases, you know what cases in the past is, is like. 
I, I'm not convinced. I need to prove. I need to prove. But in your case, it's like you, you really overdo it. Yeah. Okay.